All right, for activity 1C, 1D, and 1E to finish up here. So you should have your table look pretty much exactly like this. What it's going to ask you to do here is adding and deleting rows along with a little bit of shading. So it says using the table, what we just completed in 1B, add a black shaded uh, in row between the league titles and division titles. So between where it says American League and where it has the West, Central, and East, you are going to put a black line a black uh, shaded uh, cell or row in there. Easy way to do this, and there's a couple ways. Uh, right on the left side here, you can see what pops up here is this little plus sign. You can go ahead and just hit that plus sign, and it says add a sh uh, black shaded row. So again, an easy way to do that here hits that plus, or if you just right click and select this row here, and then you'd have to go to right click, do insert, and row above. So a couple different ways to do it. So once you have done that, then you're going to select that row, and then it asks for a black shaded area. So you go up to the design tab, go up to shading, and then in this case, I ask for black. And then go ahead and make it this row a little bit smaller. So a way to do that when you're not asking for a specific amount is if you hover between the lines here of the cell, I'm going to do it right above the division titles, and I get an arrow pointing in two different directions up and down. I'm going to hold down the mouse, and I'm going to move it up. Now you may have an instance where let's say I'm trying to move it here and it won't move. It probably means you have too many returns in there. So just something to note for the future. So make that row just a little bit smaller. Alright, add a row between below the team names. Uh, this row should be merged across all six columns and should contain the phrase as of 2015. So you can do again selecting this or hit the plus sign. Another way to do is if you're on your last cell, hit the tab key and it will make a brand new uh, line for, or a new row for you. So it wants to be merged across all six cells, so I'm going to select those six. I'm going to go up to my layout tab, click on merge, and then again I'm going to go ahead and type in as of 2015 without the um, quotations. Uh, it says make this row height smaller than the team name row heights. And so you just make it a little smaller. If you want to left align it to make it a little bit better, that's fine as well. So that'll take you through activity 1C. Activity 1D is shading cells. We've talked a little bit about on adjusting row height. So using the same table from 1C, change the row height for, all, for the cells that contain team names to 0.7 for each if needed. So these are all the team names. So you go ahead and select all those cells or select those rows just by selecting them on the outside here. You are going to go up to the Layout tab and it wants it at the 0.7 height as indicated down here. It is under the Table Tools and under Layout. And you're going to just go ahead and change that to 0.7. It's going to make them a little bit wider. So when I go ahead and I check your assignment, I'm just going to click in one of these cells and this should read 0.7. Don't worry about the width at this time. So that's all you got to do for number one. And then the second part of that, shade the first row Major League Baseball divisions with the color of your choice. Okay, so we select this cell, or you could basically just click in it. Again, go to the Design tab, go to Shading, and then pick a color of your choice. The important thing is make sure it is readable still. Choose a text color also other than black. So I have a yellow, so I need to find a text color that, looks, uh, that would look well with that. So I'd go back to my home tab and I can go into my text font here, pick something that's going to look halfway decent. Now if you want to pick red in this case, I'll do that. Uh, change the font size to 16 point. So I can go right up here and do the increase text size and make sure the text is readable. And that's what you're going to do for activity 1D. For the last activity, working with the borders, and this makes it a little bit complicated, but you'll learn it very quickly. Using the same table we just completed, add a border to the entire table that includes the following characteristics. So again, an easy way to click and select this entire table, instead of going all the way through this, is to go ahead and hit that four-way arrow up in the top left corner. Now that you have that selected, you can go and make the changes to your border. To do that, you go to Design, and here's the order you have to go in. Okay, it asks for your three-point border thickness. Okay, so you don't go to borders first. You need to choose the thickness of the line. So in this case, three. We want a color that is other than black. So I'm just going to go with red. And then again, we want it in the outside and inside 
of all of them. So I go click on the under the arrow under borders and click on all. And that is what it should look like. Just make sure it says still make sure the team names are on no more than two lines. Everything looks good there. And that should be the completion of your table. The one thing that did happen here that you'll want to keep an eye on is you want to make sure that this entire row is going to be merged together. There's no reason to have that red line in there that just doesn't look uh, very good. So I want to make sure I merge those cells together. That'll make it look, I think, a little bit better. And that'll be your final activity uh, when working on the um, creating tables. So now that you've completed these activities, print them out and verify them as correct using the master copies. And then once you are set with that, go ahead and email it to me and then we'll get you moving on to the next assignment.